Hey guys, welcome back to another NBC video. And uh, today we are going to be starting a new video series here on the channel. And it is going to be of fixing our pond. So this is our pond. Uh, we've showed it not very much on video, uh, just probably the, of the videos when we were moving in. But uh, recently this past fall we had water overflow from in there the water got so high and so deep that it came through here and just washed this all out and it nearly took the pond that way it, we almost lost the pond so actually the reason why the pond got to this point here is uh because of beavers they dammed up this is where the water runs through and uh it because it's a stream up towards that way and then it opens up into our pond and then it flows back to a creek back here as well but the beavers were trying to dam up this part right here where the water goes through and it caused the water to get so high it came onto the land it was up here at one point uh, and over here actually here are some of the sticks that we pulled out of here from the beavers I mean it was constant this uh, fall we were doing that and uh, it just caused the water to come through here and wash it out so uh, yeah, we got to fix all this. I mean, right now it's hard to get even to the other side where the boat is and where we uh, fish a lot of the time down there. So uh, right now the pond is actually high. It rained all day yesterday, so the water and a little bit this morning is actually misting right now. So the water's pretty high. It will go back down eventually. Let's see if I can show you here. Yeah, it's pretty high. We got those boards in there that are supposed to... Uh, keep the water level up the top ones are mainly just to deter the beavers because the beavers are still here as far as we know they haven't uh, put tried to dam that up recently I've only they only did it one time this spring so yeah and so like I said the water is a little high right now it's usually not this high um, which and that's another thing that we kind of have to look into is how do we get the water level at the level we want because before the beavers, it was perfect. And after the beavers and all the sticks and everything they did through there and losing some of the water and it coming up here and losing some rocks, it really messed up the water level. So we're gonna have to try and do what we can to fix that. All right guys, I'm filming on my phone now because the camera died and the batteries are inside. But anyway, this is actually gonna be what we fill up first because if you can see, there's water flowing through there right now because of how high this pond is. And that's where what happens is when the water gets too high here it'll flow through here and that's why we got all these sandbags and that's actually stopping it from coming back here but uh yeah we got all this water in here and we're gonna fill this up with sand pack it down really good and hope that um, the water stops coming through here whenever it rains and gets high like this because there could be times this summer where it rains you know multiple days in a row and we can't have this every time that that won't be good and so we're gonna fill this up first and uh, then we'll work on filling this up but we have to shore this up first because if we don't shore this up this will just happen again if the beavers uh, ever get to the point where they jam this up again and we don't realize it because they do it at nighttime and then if we don't have time to come down here during the day right away in the morning and the water will get high all day and it will it will have a mess and it'll just flow through here so that is going to be priority number one so now I'm gonna throw in a few clips that I just remembered I had from this past fall when the water was throwing through the ravine there and I'll just to show you what I, what I was talking about it wasn't like forcefully flowing through because at that point we had put the sandbags down but just to give you guys a general idea I'm gonna put those clips in there now so the water flows from behind the sandbags over the silo bricks we've placed and they it stops right there by that last silo brick it doesn't go any further it's like it just goes underground because it's dry over here well thanks for watching this nbc video we hope you will enjoy uh watching us fix our the progress of us fixing our pond so please subscribe to name its brother there's channel and subscribe to my channel or Kyle in corner link in the 
the description below. What he said. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey.